Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on that Super Bowl Monday, Feb 4. Wow, how about them Patriots? Unbelievable. For those of us uh, who are old, like myself, gotta tip your hat uh, to Brady. The consistency, all the little things that he does to survive that league and stay great at that age. Really an inspiration uh, to all the old fuckers like myself. Really great to see. Anyway, uh, let's talk uh, foreign exchange here. Uh, as we talked about at the uh, weekly roundup, this euro dollar looks at risk here. Um, this 35 level is kind of key. London's going to walk in in an hour. It's going to be a lethargic session because of the Super Bowl. A lot of the Aussies took a sickie today, and, and um, many of them will probably be bombed at a bar right now. Um, even in Europe, the bars were the bars are open all night, or the sports bars are open all night for this game. So it's going to be a little bit lethargic, but nonetheless, this uh, this Euro level is important, and we think. Obviously, it's going to trade at the open sometime in the next 90 minutes. So, core short euros going into the open looks looks the trick. Dollar yen less um, less a sure thing. We're talking about stale dollar yen shorts. So stuff that that was put on uh, between sort of the 20th and the 23rd of January. We've now had sort of 10 days and. The call after FOMC was, this is the safe short dollar position. Everyone said it. Now dollar yen is safe. It's unlikely that we're going to trade uh, 110. And it looked to be true. Quite a few guys sold rally with a low average hourly earnings at non-farms. And now they're jammed. So the question for me just is when this is going to go may go late today uh, may may need New York to get this going but this dollar yen also looks at risk so keep an eye on dollar yen on the long side we've been talking about nibbling on this um, dollar rand top side one of our favorite uh, you know, we love shorting um, South African rand looks like we have like this little short term pattern here and we're looking for prices above 39 or maybe prices above 38 to really start uh, sinking our teeth into possible long positions um, in dollar rand. So again, we're focusing long dollars this week. Pick your poison, uh, the safe liquid bet. Of course, you play euro uh, or dollar Swiss. You want to get a little more exotic. Uh, we like this dollar rand higher. If you're insane, you want to trade cable. Uh, again, we talked about this on the video. This is the 200 day down here at 46. Eventually, this is going to go. Uh, the problem with cable, of course, is you know just the news bombs from uh, Brexit. It uh, has not been a real money maker for us in the past six months. In fact, uh, you know, we had a few very good trades that turned into scratches because of slippage uh, so we're very very careful and, and pretty skeptical about uh, about cable but I mean if this wasn't cable you look at that chart and you go okay there's a trap door down there somewhere uh, 130 45 130 47 something like that last thing I'll bring up is Aussie uh, we got RBA It'll be so it's Tuesday morning in Europe um, very early a lot of guys are saying that uh, they think there there could be a hawkish bias some are saying uh, dovish bias my take from a distance and I'm no economist and I don't study the RBA really in depth but I just do get a feel for uh, general media trends and general mood within the market I think they're going to be dovish uh, because of this housing 
you know, because of all of the press about housing and crumbling housing. And as an Anglo-Saxon, I know what house prices mean to a culture, mean to the to the wealth effect of a culture and to the psychology of a culture. So this is what I'm basing it on. Um, I think they're going to be dovish. We talked about it. This looks safe, this 7295, which is the 200 day. It's obviously a percent away, so you got to be super careful selling low ones here because you can't go into RBA with a stacked position. Uh, but we'll be looking left hand side, waiting for a proper setup. There's no real setup right now, but uh, we will be looking left hand side if we get a chance. All right, I've said enough. I mean, we talked about fixed income lower and we've also talked about playing the left hand side in stocks it's a cert it's a tradable short it's not a position short it only becomes a position short if we get up to 2740 all right it's a lot to digest a lot of choices to make uh, this morning but in general we're long dollars uh, and we like short fixed income enjoy your day make some money and I will see you guys tomorrow ciao